Hi everybody, this is Ms. Vasquez, and I'm going to give you all a quick tutorial video on how to use your Aver U50 document camera. Um, as you know, your document camera comes only with one cord. So um, once you have that connected to your computer, then you're ready to get started. All you would have to do is launch the um, application here, Sphere 2. And so once that is connected, then you will see the document that you want to project. All right, so here we go. Let me just show you a couple of features that you'll need to use for your instruction. Okay, um, if you look down here at the left, this is the camera control setting. This is where you will find your zoom in, zoom out button, or if you need to rotate the image, okay? So if you click on it, you're gonna see here that you have several little icons, okay? So the first, the most important one I would say would be like you're zooming in, and of course you zoom out, okay? If you're set up in an area, it's a little tight, and you can only have your paper like this, but you want to rotate it, obviously, to show students, you can rotate here, okay, and also turn back the other way. All right, so um, however it is that you need your document, you can rotate that so that way it's more comfortable for you, and it's nicely visible for the students as well. All right, so um, those are like the main features. Also, if you are needing to autofocus, you have an autofocus button right here. So that will do that for you. Um, also, by the way, just wanted to mention real quick that the autofocus is also available up there on the little uh, camera that you see at the top at the end of the arm. If you look there, you're going to find three different buttons. One of them is the camera, which you can use to take pictures of the document. Uh, the LED, that is just to make your document darker or brighter. Okay, and then you have your AF, which is autofocus. All right, so you can autofocus with that as well. Now, let's say you have uh, your passage ready. Let's say you did a couple of things, and you want to freeze that. So instead of hitting freeze, you're going to come to pause. Okay, so when you hit pause, you can actually freeze your image. So right now I'm actually moving the, the booklet around, and uh, my students are not seeing that. Okay, um, something else that I really like about this camera is that um, I can take pictures of my documents and I can print them out. So let's say I have like students who were absent and they missed a really nice journal entry that we did. I can definitely take a picture of that for them, print it out, and actually give that to them when they return. Um, something else that you could use the camera feature for is let's say you're short on a passage or let's say a student didn't bring it back you need to make an extra copy, you could do that. Um, or like letters that go home, if you have one that you're missing, you can just take a picture of that as well and print it out and send it with the students. Okay, so let me show you how you would capture a picture and then save it to your file and then print. It's super easy. All right, so here's my journal. Let's say I have two or three students absent, so I'm going to go ahead and capture this journal entry because it was really nice and I want to make sure that they're up to date on their journal. So I'm going to come here. If you see here, you, it'll show capture. And recall that you can also capture it using the little camera button at the top here of your camera, okay? So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more. Peter preposition. Okay, hold on. I need one more. I need under. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take the picture like this, but I'm going to crop it up so that way I'm not wasting a lot of ink when I print. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and capture. So you hit that. It's going to take a few seconds, and you're going to see like a JPEG file open up. You can save that to your desktop if you'd like to, or one of your files in your laptop if you'd like. Uh, but this file will also be saved within Sphere, okay? So it's going to be there as well. Okay, so... You can see that it is being captured right there. Okay, perfect. So um, once it's there, I can go ahead and I can trim it up. You can go to edit, okay, if you want to just crop it, make it look really nice. Just You just want the, the sheet coming out and have like a little bit more polished look. And there we go. All right, so go ahead and click on the check mark. Once you're all done, there you have it, okay. And then you can just come up here to save as. Okay, so let's say I want to save that as, and this was the prepositions, journal, 
entry. And I can save that to my documents. And I can also date it, you know, if you want to keep a really close uh, tab on your entries. You can go ahead and save that. Okay, so it's, it's saved there on your, on your laptop. Um, but another place that it's saved is also here within the program. So if you go here to the top left, you're going to see the media library. All right, if you happen to take any pictures or if you did videos, you can find them here. So, for example, my images, I can click here. And there it is, okay? Is that all done? Oh, it's the same one. Okay, so just so you know, the edited version, the one that we trimmed up, that's going to be up in my documents here, like within my laptop. Um, same thing with videos. If you happen to do any videos, it already has a camera, so it has a, a camera and it has a microphone, so you don't need to add extra tools. You're ready to go. Okay, a um, couple of other things. To get out of this media library, if you come up here, to where it says view, then you can check off media library and that'll go away. Okay. Um, to make it bigger, you can go here to full screen. All right. So there you go. And of course, always hit escape to get out. Uh, a couple other things. Let's say you have a side by side on this section. You can go in and insert another image or let's say you have two passages you want to compare. Um, you can do that. Or let's say you want to compare two students journal entries or work two different math problems and see like what was the comparison with the, you know how they were different you can definitely do that and then you have your whiteboard feature which is probably you know just more convenient for you if you need to type something up you just open a text box you can type whatever you need um, I also like this feature because I would probably just leave it on whiteboard and project that to my to my whiteboard so that way it's just like a clear writing space for myself um, but anyways, those are just a couple of things that you can use, you know, as you get started using your document camera. Go back to Visualizer. Um, let's see, one other tool that I'd like to cover really quick is your presentation tool. All right, so let's say, for example, you're going to have a couple of math problems and you don't want the kids to just be overwhelmed. Or let's say you have your answers and you don't want to show a, a certain portion of the um, handout. So there's a really nice little shade that you can actually pull. I know um, as a classroom teacher, like I would want to like cover part of the, um, you know, a part of the page. So I would put like a blank piece of paper and I would cover this section. Um, but with the presentation tool, it's a much nicer way to do it. As you can see here, um, you'll see a visor feature. Okay, so if you hit the visor feature, you're going to see a little hand and you need to pull that down. Okay, so let's say you want the kids to only work on the guided practice, focus on that. And so you can continue to do your modeling and have them work on their own with the independent practice. You can give them some time to work on it. And then, of course, um, when you're ready, you can just simply pull this part down and then show the answer, you know, or reveal the steps that you wanted them to take. Um, so, again, just a couple of reminders here. These are the most important tools I believe that you're going to be using on a daily basis. Your zoom in, zoom out, your reset, rotating, and of course, autofocus. And, and then of course, if you want to freeze it, you just hit the pause button. Okay, and so there, you're not moving it around in front of the student. So um, those are a couple of things that your Avery U50 can do. Um, if you have any more advanced tips that you'd like to share, just send me an email and I can share with everybody else. Um, if you have any questions, um, you know, please feel free to send me an email, give me a call, let me know. And again, just don't forget, uh, if you're not using your document camera, just go ahead and pull the USB out. There is no on and off button per se. Uh, it's just pretty much removing your USB drive. But you need to do that in order for you to not be using your battery because that is what's powering the document camera. So um, anyways, thank you all for listening and I hope that you enjoy using your new Aver U50 document camera. Thank you so much.